Hello guys, my name is Tom Antos and in this video I want to show you my new wireless video system that I've been using. It's from Cinegears uh, and it's called the Ghost Eye 600M. So the 600M actually stands for the range which is, which is 600 meters or uh, 2000 feet. Uh, now, of course, like with any wireless audio or video system, uh, that the given specifications, you know, by the manufacturer, uh, just literally all they mean is that in ideal situation, you're actually going to get that range, uh, meaning open line of sight and no, you know, wireless signal interference. But since we all live in a real world where we're, you know, most likely going to be in the city, we're going to have buildings between us or wireless video, you know, let's say Wi-Fi systems or uh, cell phone antennas, uh, that means that the, the, the range uh, obviously will decrease. So the first thing I'll do before I kind of get into specifics of this kit uh, is just kind of show you the actual range test that I did. So here you can see me set up the camera uh, and I kind of have, you know, I'm sending wireless videos. I can see myself uh, to my uh, director's monitor and I'm just going to be kind of walking away. So first I stop here right behind the fence and that's around like 25, 30 feet distance uh, from the uh, transmitter. Uh, and you know obviously it works perfectly it's open line of sight and I do have actually a lot of wireless uh, or Wi-Fi interference because I have several Wi-Fi wi networks uh, basically in my house so very close to actually where the camera is with the transmitter but anyways as I continue walking uh, for you know I go all the way up basically to this fence that's in my backyard so I can't actually go any further and that's uh, the distance over there is hundred and fifteen feet and as you can see the signal is perfect uh, and this actually sends a full 1080p resolution signal up to 60 frames per second uh, w uh, which is also actually 10 bit 422 color uh, anyways so because I wanted to test out you know even further but I couldn't go past the fence I had to end up actually going to the side here uh, and I ended up kind of walking out onto some streets so you won't be able to see me on the actual main camera that uh, I have set up there on my backyard uh, but here on the behind the scenes camera you can see me kind of holding the director's monitor and you'll be able to see when the signal actually cuts out so I'm still getting perfectly good signal uh, up here which is uh, when I kind of reach the street uh, that's around 180 feet away and I have two houses basically between me uh, and, the, and the transmitter so you know the, there is already a lot of obstacles as you can see and a, a lot of Wi-Fi and cell phone tower kind of you know interference and still the signal is perfect uh, and then I basically keep on walking all the way until the signal which is basically two streets away and it's around 420 feet away and at 420 feet away I'm finally losing the, that signal and that's behind four houses and again you know I'm, I'm assuming all of those houses have Wi-Fi networks and things like that so it's a pretty pretty damn good system I, I would say if, if you can get this kind of uh, interference and a, and a that range now when I was using this on a, on a film project I shot recently uh, when we were actually going uh, through concrete walls and going actually from the second floor all the way to the basement then the signal did actually cut out so it's it, again depends on what kind of walls you're going through and and again how much interference there is so uh, you know f really you, you kind of have to just try it out at the location that you're gonna you're planning to film and kind of see how well the system is gonna perform for you now when you get this system uh, you're obviously going to get the transmitter, the receiver with all the antennas that you need. Uh, you also will get two uh, cables which are actually two pin limo to uh, DTAP power cables so you can use them uh, to connect it to various DTAP power sources. Uh, and you also get, actually get a waterproof foam padded case uh, that it's, a, it's like a hard shell case that will protect the, uh, all the parts for you nicely. Uh, the system itself uh, has no latency. Uh, and with, when I was using this, you know, on my film shoot here, uh, in, in I had was c basically connecting this to uh, the, the Blackmagic Ursa mini camera. Uh, then, uh, because I was connected via SDI, uh, SDI uh, cables, uh, then I really I did not perceive at least any latency. But when you connect it through HDMI, uh, like it is the the case here, uh, where I connected the transmitter to the uh, the Sony A7R3 camera, and I connected it to this uh, aperture monitor here, which only had HDMI in, then you'll n notice right away that there is obviously, like when I'm waving my hand, there is actually uh, l uh, some latency. And that's actually just simply because of uh, the HDMI limitation. So uh, for those of you wondering out there, why should you bother getting an SDI 
uh, kind of a video system or, or camera. Well, this is one of the reasons why <laughs> SDI, aside from the fact that it can, long, you know, cables itself can work for longer range and things like that, they, they basically don't have latency. Now the transmitter actually uh, sends out four transmission channels uh, and it can connect to an unlimited number of ghost eye receivers, which is pretty cool. Uh, it also has full cross compatibility with other ghost eye models and uh, it has some limited record start and stop functionality. Uh, another function that I really like about this is that it will accept both SDI and you know uh, HDMI signals and are actually cross -con convertible. Or so basically you can send out an, an for example an SDI loop out on the transmitter, uh, but on the receiver you could be you know both outputting over SDI or HDMI. Uh, so it will basically it converts the signal automatically for you for the, you know between the the two systems. Uh, the build itself is is pretty nice. Uh, it's you know it's like full metal bodies, uh, you know very, very feels feels very firm, kind of like their previous systems that I've been using. Now to to be able to get like the full usability out of the system, I think uh, you know for the receiver, uh, you probably want to mount it on something. It has multiple attachment like quarter twenty uh, screws on the sides and and, and bottom. Uh, so you can attach it, let's say, on a tripod stand, whatever, and let's say in your video village. In this case, you can see me using it with my kind of a makeshift uh, director's viewfinder uh, kit that I built out of some spare camera parts uh, and the uh, Aperture Fine HD monitor. Uh, and it works, you know, perfectly well with this. Uh, I kind of use this magic arm to connect uh, the whole system, and actually, you know, it holds up uh, pretty well. Uh, given the fact that, you know, even uh, on the back of the, the actual receiver, I have this full-size uh, V-mount battery, and that's actually one of the ways that you can power this uh, the, this transmitter and the, the, and the receivers. So the receiver up here, you see, has a full-size, basically, V-mount battery connection, so you can uh, connect it directly to the to the receiver. Uh, on the side you also have the SDI out connection and the HDMI out uh, and on the bottom there you have the two pin power limo connection uh, and the receiver itself has like a nice full you know color display uh, and has various buttons there so I'm not gonna bore you with the menus because they're pretty simple and to navigate uh, but basically, yeah, you have full customizability over the kind of channels, you know, what channel you're on and things like that. So it's, it's a very nice system, easy to operate, e easy to set the settings. Uh, as you can see, there's five antennas uh, on, the, on top of the receiver uh, and they're, you know, fully articulated so you can kind of swivel them. I kind of like using them in this kind of spread out pattern. It just seems like it gets the best kind of uh, signal. On the other side of the receiver there, you'll see another quarter 20 uh, attachment and also the power on off switch. So all in all, it's a, it's a simple build, not overly complicated, and again, it's a very simple system to use. It pretty much connects on its own, and it will stay connected when it detects any interference. It will switch uh, the channels between uh, and basically find the best connection for you. Uh, also, by the way, if you didn't know, this is obviously a fully encrypted uh, video system, meaning uh, that you know no unauthorized person can connect to and kind of receive the signal. Now the transmitter up here is much smaller, much lighter. As you can see, I can even put it up on my DSLR here. Uh, or actually the Sony a7R3, so I guess it's a mirrorless camera, but anyways, it doesn't really add too much weight or it's, uh, it doesn't feel really awkward, so that's the good thing about it. Uh, and it's also nicely sturdy built out of this kind of aluminum case, uh, has two antennas fully articulated, has the kind of the little display on the side so you can see what, what your settings are, uh, you, have, you have different buttons here to navigate the menu. Uh, on the back, you have the Sony uh, NPF style uh, battery connection, so you can power it using one of those batteries. Uh, but on the other side there, you actually have the 2-pin Limo power connection. So if you wanted to, you can actually power it using, a, a, let's say, a V-mount battery. And, and that's actually what I did when I had the, the transmitter mounted on my uh, Ursa Mini uh, camera, because, uh, you know, I was using V-mount batteries. So I just used that 2-pin Limo to uh, DTAP connection uh, cable. Uh, and I would just plug straight into my V-mount battery uh, and then I, I could this way power the, the transmitter for hours, literally. On one V-mount battery, uh, you can easily power this uh, the system for a whole day. The transmitter on one V-mount battery will last you with like that, that size, uh, you know, V-mount battery that I had. It will last you like over two days. So it's it's a very good system. And that's pretty much it. Uh, overall, I mean, like it's it's a it's a straightforward you know audio video system. It does actually transmit audio. In case you were wondering, uh, it works really well. Like I said, nice long range. It deals with the interference pretty well. Uh, there's uh, there's really nothing bad I can say about it so far. I mean, I guess the only wish maybe I would say is uh, if it was possible to make the the receiver a little bit smaller uh, in the future. Uh, it's not heavy actually, it's a little bit bigger, but it's not heavy, but if it was a little smaller, it would always be, you know, a little bit more convenient. 
um, and uh, and actually maybe if it was able like to be to be powered actually off of a little you know, Sony NPF battery that might also be better because uh, sometimes you know I, I don't want to drag around this whole kind of a big director's monitor setup that I have here uh, with all of this basically weight uh, and the, most of that weight is actually the the V-mount battery. Uh, so that's that's maybe one wish. Now another th little tip I'll give you is that uh, if you want to have this, like you see, handheld kind of a director's monitor setup, then uh, you can build one like I did up here out of spare parts. But there's actually a very good uh, rig out there already that will allow you to attach a wireless video system, let's say like this, uh, and, a, and a monitor and all that stuff. Uh, so you can kind of have it. And this is actually what I had the director using on this film that, that we shot here. Uh, as you can see, he's holding it. It's a very nice looking cage. Uh, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's 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 nice light and it allows you a lot of customization as to what kind of things you want to attach where and, and, and things like that. So uh, I'm going to provide the links, obviously, for, for that cage and for the wireless video system and all that stuff. Uh, so if you're interested in getting it, uh, and as always, these are affiliate links, meaning if you buy something, uh, it doesn't cost you anything extra. I will get a few cents thrown my way. And that always uh, helps when, you know, if a lot of people uh, click the link and buy it. It always adds up. So it is greatly appreciated and it helps uh, support this channel. So thank you guys. If you like this video, uh, I hope you, you know, you share it, you click thumbs up uh, and uh, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm if you're going to be sure to, uh, to do more videos like this for you guys. Uh, and if you don't like it, then let me know again in the comment section below and tell me what kind of videos you guys would want to see. Uh, and once again, I'm Tom Antos, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.